Along with Scott Pasco and Tim Bielke, Cleveland.com, we're starting to wrap up 2016 National Signing Day. We've been all over Northeast Ohio breaking down some of the biggest signings, seeing some of the top players. Scott, let's talk about where you went and you know, some of the things you saw on the way today. Uh, well, I was at Euclid. Uh, they had 20 kids up on the stage. Uh, they expect 25 of their 31 seniors to play college football, which is kind of impressive. Uh, their whole thing this year was return to glory, and I think this kind of capped that off. Uh, last night, actually, they had probably their marquee signing with Anthony Johnson uh, selecting Penn State. Um, but then you have a handful of other uh, Division II and Division Three kids coming out of that program. So that was uh, a pretty impressive sight. And then I was at St. Edward, which second straight year they had 13 uh, football players up there uh, uh, on their on their podium getting uh, going through the signing. It's not as many Division One recruits. I think last year it was 12. This year it's seven, but still it's a, it's an impressive haul for a team that won you know back to back state titles. Cool. And I hit a, a, a duo of Ohio State commits start off in the morning, North Richville to Mario McCall, where he had a private uh, ceremony where after he signed, he put on a nice OS, white OSU jersey. And later in the afternoon, Maple Heights, Gear Hawkins also signs with Ohio State. So you can read th about those stories later, as well as Scott's journeys and the rest of our staff at Cleveland.com.